previously on the NoVP channel. It's oh. me, it's me, it's me. <laughs> yes, it's me, it's me. And coming up. Oh, oh my god, what is happening? Oh, that just fell out of your mouth, that. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get access to the most unappealing crap you'll find anywhere on the whole internet. Start the shit show. And before that wolf eats my grandma, give that wolf a banana, give that wolf. And before that wolf eats my grandma, give that wolf a banana, give that wolf a banana, give that wolf. Give that wolf, wolf, wolf. Banana. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I look really hot though. <laughs> oh, hello, yes, hello, yes! Hi! Welcome to this Nova Impure Treat à Port la Arges. <laughs> was that treat that was correct? No. That was very. Je tourne rond. Je tourne rond. That was very egg du bacon. <laughs> egg du bacon. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Love French. I could never do it. Could you? I could do it. I was really it. good at French. You would be. Not that I, I no, remember. No, it was so hard. Not that I remember a single word, but I used the, to get the, at the top of the class like, kiss, in French. Kiss couleur. Uh, I could never do that. Est. What's that? What is that? Say. I'm, oh, right. Okay. I need to have a word with <laughs> French. Est. With French people. I need to have a word with you. <laughs> Welcome to this Novimpia treat. I am... Nova. No, no fucking stop, hell. Stop introducing yourself Shh, as me. Shit. I'm Nova. I'm Bridget Jones. Ah, no. What are we doing today? We're testing. Eating some shit. We're sa don't say eating some shit. <laughs> We're sampling some treats that have been sent to us very kindly from the great nation of Norway. It is Nor- is it Norway? They all know what it is. It, it, does it say oh, that? Oh, there's a menu. Does it say that? Um, does it say that? Is he from Gabon? <laughs> yes. Great Wait. nation of Norway. Yes. Is that what I just said? Yes. Is that what that says on there? Yes. Norway. Where does it say that? Great nation of Norway. Well, did I not just say great nation of Norway? From the great nation of Norway. No. no. What did I say? I don't know. I think I just said it. What's happening? Well, I've, I've been prescient with that because I predicted what it said. I'm having a stroke. Yeah, yeah you look like it. There is a, a short note. We shall read it out. Ah, oh, yes. Nova and Olympia, during lockdown in 2020, I got hooked on a lot of drag related videos on YouTube and somehow I stumbled upon your channel. I was immediately hooked and your humour resonates with mine. And watching your chemistry on screen makes me feel like I'm sitting next to you taking part in the conversation. Your self-isolation vacation, masterminds and 73 questions videos have been a lifesaver for me, lifting mm. my spirit when I needed someone to cheer me up. That's nice. All your silly references, cutaways and gags always make me cackle. Thank you so much for all the entertainment you have brought to the world. Your community is a great place to be. Stay sticking in and I say hi to Shah from me. I love that. From Jokamelk slash Ingvar Solberg. Ingvar Solberg. Ingvar has been with us for a while. I mean, I know he literally said when it was from, but comment on everything. We see your name pop up all the time. We're very, yes. very happy about that. So thank you so much for, first of all, being with us, for saying that our shit is all right, I suppose. I can't imagine it. Oh God, each of them, I can't just put the menu away because I think you've actually written out the descriptions yourself. So I feel like we probably need the descriptions because there's we a little bit of you in there. Ingvar, I'm not reading all this. <laughs> I don't read, I'm not reading You're not Britney Spears, I'm not reading all that. <laughs> Before we get into this, can I just take a second, first of all, to say, you race through these because you're so fucking peckish. So take your time, please. Ah, we need to have a slight introduction here. We can't just go straight into it for Nova to tell people what she knows about the great nation of Norway. Um, it's where Subwoofer are from. Oh, fucking hell. I suck it. Norway. Who's a, who's a famous Norwegian who's not from Eurovision? Norway, the Norwegian. Yeah, yeah, Oh, the Norwegian. The Norwegian. I I'll tell you, tell you. No, I'll tell you who, though. It's I Norway. Is, is that also like Scandinavia? That is, yes. It is, yes. yes. Uh, Roald Dahl. Oh. I think Roald Dahl is Norwegian. I thought he was British. Well, you can be a bit of both. Can you? Let's start. So let's start today. These are on the top. We like cheese. <laughs> cheese balls. Cheesy nacho. Che we like cheese. I want to fuck this cheese. I think we, we are fond of cheese. Nova especially loves a cheese snack, crisp, corn-based snack. It says real cheese since 1968, but cheese is spot snacked, snacked, 
snack cheese it. balls. Where's it snack, on here? Oh, hang on a second. Well, I have a look. Frick not. No, that's not that. No. Oh, oh, cheese. Oh, okay. O L W. Oh, I saw that. I saw that already. I've seen that. I've, no, I saw it on there. <laughs> there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cheese balls. Corn based. <laughs> Corn-based ball-shaped snack with nacho cheese flavouring. Let's say ball These shapes. are actually from Sweden. <laughs> Ingvar. This is not a great way to start, darling. <laughs> no. You sent us Norwegian snacks from Sweden. Got them for you since the Finnish ones were a hit. I have to admit that I can scuff down a bag of these on my own in mere minutes. To be on the safe side, I got you two bags of these. These will most likely get your fingers yellow with cheese dust just by opening the bag. My mood is very yellow with cheese dust. This is not Norwegian. That's not what? That's not romantic! Oh, they smell like very fresh. I'm not eating one out of spite. They're very like soft. Oh, too Swedish. <laughs> oh, mind you though. Oh my God. They're very like light. What's that? They do get stuck in your teeth like like what's it to do, but they're very light and soft in flavour. We often get snack boxes. Okay, so we've done Belgium, we've done Finland, we've done a bunch, a whole bunch. These taste European. We get a lot of cheese related stuff and often they're comparable. Oh, if you get more, you get more but of like a nacho we aftertaste. The cheese taste is quite That's unique. It is unique. Cheesy nat I mean I don't really know how it's nacho. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. Salsa con queso. Mm. These are delicious. Um, mm. They're very dangerous because that's fucking Moorish. That's what we got one <laughs> That's yours. No, I can't because I'm going into ketosis just now. Stop it. I got a lot of comments about ketosis. First of all, I do actually know what it means. Second of all, I'm not really going into it. Third of all, I only said it because it's a Captain Kim quote. Do you want to give me something to find and I'll find it in the box? Oh, okay. Okay, lab oh. <laughs> Labia. <laughs> Labia. Every now and then I get a little. Labia. Labian. Sig Sigmund. What is it? Soft jelly women. No, now you see we do savory first and sweet. Oh, for okay. Dessert. Oh, hey, well, hang on. You know this. It's your rule. What's happening? What are you doing? This is Solon's chips have salt. Oh. Labia. <laughs> um, interesting bag. It's like like. Papery. Ingvar's actually put here, Sos, these are from Denmark. Is he actually? No. <laughs> Promoted as a healthy option when they came to market in the early 90s, as they have the skin kept on. Uh, by not peeling them, you get more of the vitamins and minerals. I, that's horseshit. No, that is true. Yeah, but it's still a crisp. Well, yeah, so I don't know how much that would actually It's a fucking crisp. crisp. Oh, it's a crisp. Oh, it's a lint roller. It's a it, fucking crisp. You shouldn't peel your potatoes. Your potato. They dig up potatoes. Chris yeah, Packets in the UK, this would be like full down to here and the rest would be air. We don't get this shit. Is, this is full up to here. Also, it's a very fancy bag. It's, it's like paper. waxy paper. Paper. They look like kettle chips. We'd like to remind everyone once again if you're new to the channel that none of this food goes to waste. We often give it to neighbours, etc. Oh, we're all oh more gold. They're so thin, they're like translucent. Ingba. I'm not like being... doing more salt. Excuse me. I was speaking just then, and you said something to interrupt me, which I find incredibly rude. Oh no! I'm, and I'm okay, a very, yeah. I'm a very kind person. Do you understand this about me? No. Nice and kind and considerate. Ingvar, um, I appreciate that you've sent us snacks, and I love that. These are ready salted crisps. <laughs> They're not as salty. They're ready salted crisps. <laughs> Look at this. Even the chip on the front is saying. This is ready salted, you can get that in the UK. <laughs> I'm not being ungrateful, darling, because these are lovely and I'll eat every last one of them. But where's, where's the Norway? Labia! We've got Sweden. I didn't want Sweden. They're even crunchier than kettle chips. I don't know how exciting or different a crisp is gonna be. A crisp is a crisp. A potato's a potato. Let's call the whole thing off. Next. All right, OLW cheese balls. Oh, we've had those. Yeah. Kim's Mexican Fiesta. That sounds more like a proposition. Crisps with a Tex-Mex spice flavor. These are, the, these are Ingvar's favorite crisps. Savory, just a little bit spicy. That's not what that is. What's that? That's the-, the That's coffee, it's a bowl of coffee. No, that's the seasoning. Oh, it's in the front as well. That's it's just a bowl seasoning. of coffee. Like there's no air in them. Like in the UK, this would be pumped with air. This is almost like vacuum packed. Don't say pumped. 
Yeah, but isn't that interesting? Do you remember when our friend had never used a douche before and she pumped herself with air? Yeah. And she thought there was water in there, but it was just air and she did the biggest fart. Yeah. And she couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. And her roommate was like, do you need help in there? And she was like, you tell me. I like a chip That's with a crinkle on it. That makes for a better chip. The crinkle can oh, collect they smell good. more of the shit. They just smell like steak. Those steak McCoys. That's what they taste like. I'm never gonna get Mexican Fiesta. It tastes like the steak McCoys. Like it's just steak McCoys. Was that inside it? What is that? I don't know, it's not my head. Where'd you get that from? It was like on the bag. What do you mean it's on the bag? It might be one of your boy hairs. You can't, my boy hair's not out. Could have been on you. Did you pull that out of this bag? I don't know if I got, I don't, I don't even care remember. if it is. Remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Remember, remember. Nova, remember. remember, what do you remember? It was like on the bag. I'd like to thank you for your Norwegian hairy chips. <laughs> <laughs> We can't get steak McCoys here, can we? <laughs> I'm being so ungrateful today and I don't care. I'm, I'm being pissy and salty, unlike those. They're very good with their steak. Their steak McCoys. Okay, let's move on then. Where were those ones from, Belgium? Okay, we're gonna move on to something sweet now because that was all the savory. Mind you, as if we're not gonna eat the shit out of those, you'll mm. have to go through most of them though because I'm, oh, well. I'm being very delicate with my figure at the moment. Just necrosis. It's not necrosis. You're so fucking stupid. Okay, soft jelly women. Why don't you just at me? No, soft jelly women, not soft in the head. Okay, this is soft jelly women and jelly men rolled in sugar. Labia Sigmund. This is one of Ingvar's childhood faves. This one is made with gelatin, so you yeah. can't have it. Originally only shaped like men and gender neutral figures. A few years ago, they started making women with breasts. What? You what? Apparently there's women in there with breasts. Look, you can see on the front little titties. Oh, there's a pineapple one. Labia! <laughs> yes, ananas. Oh, they got ananas. Mm. What language is that? French. Spanish. Oh, hell fire. Smell that. That's good though, isn't it? It smells like very um, fruit, very fruit. fruit pastels. Very fruit. Oh, look, I can't have those. They give me the runs. Oh, it's jelly babies. Those two. Oh no, just jelly babies. I'm fine with these. <laughs> yeah, so this Apple. is what they look like. This is it. This is it. Th that's a really lovely. Oh my god, she's got she's got tits. a waist and tits. She is snatched. She's got a lovely. lovely I find hips. it strange that they decided to give these figures tits. I think that's really weird. They're very very soft. It's interesting when you've been eating vegan sweets for so long, which are a bit harder. Yeah, they are generally. These feel particularly soft. That's delicious though. Softer than a fruit pastel, more flavorful I think than like a tang fastic. I find our sweets of this variety a bit insipid. I imagine Shah would polish off that whole bag. Jelly tits. Oh, why does this sound familiar now? Troika. What's desiderata? I don't know, but Troika is here. Triple and it's else. Seed in 1939. Someone, but someone, but Nova now. But Nova now. But Nova now. What? Speak. Oh. Someone commented and said, Desiderata. Suka, 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 <laughs> someone commented on one of our videos and said, Desiderata. What is that? I don't know what you're talking about. What is that? I don't know what you're talking about. But I'm, I think I've said that before. Does it hurt? What does that mean? I don't, that's what I'm asking you! Well, I don't know. Okay, today we're looking at Troika's Desiderata. Desiderata. Nipple You've got teeth around your neck. Yep. What's happening there? I'm gonna add four more if you don't shut up. This is a chocolate bar made of three layers of... What? Marzipan. Mars. <laughs> oh no. It's layers of marzipan rolled out with a can of hairspray. Oh, not rolled out with a can of hairspray. Looking at you in your Christmas cake lib. Christmas cake? You rolled out marzipan with a can of hairspray. I've never rolled out marzipan. Thing. I hope this was actually clean and not like, well, we'll see. Yes, you Marzi have. I probably did do that. That was the one that you didn't even fucking eat because you're so ungrateful. Oh, what's the purple in that? It looks the like, jelly um, is vegetarian. It looks like Turkish delight. It's marzipan chocolate <laughs> and jelly. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, I can't really taste the marzipan. Do you remember the Aussie pack we got? That reminds me of a um, a cherry ripe. Hmm. Do you remember? That's really nice. That's really pleasant. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, I haven't had chocolate in so long because um, I'm entering into my sexy thin phase at the moment. Did you just like? Are you laughing? Oh, <gasps> this is a non-stop now. Non-stop. 
dark chocolate in a crispy sugar shell. They look like M&M's. Oh, okay. Well, it sounds like it. Oh, no, dark chocolate. Norwegian version of Smarties. Jenna, or... Coco, Live Arbida, Freya, for a Barak, for Tig, Utsviglin, for De Bonden, some Dirk of our cacao. We're going to take a second to learn about when I'm speaking, <laughs> you're going to fucking shut your cake hole and let me finish. Do you understand? Do you understand me? <laughs> Don't eat the red ones because they've got E120, which is, is that the bug one. There's bug ones. Hmm. Bug, what's bug one? What's that? Bug one. <laughs> Most Norwegians do not know that the different colors have different flavors and they just grab a, a handful of them and shove them down their mouth. But if you try them differently, you'll notice a difference. So they're Norwegian Smarties, but they're with dark chocolate. Just don't oh, eat the red one. I'm not overly fussed. If it's like a whole bag, then it makes no Smarties difference. Smarties are very different to M&Ms though, aren't they? Is they're the not as shiny as Smarties or M&Ms. They put like a Smarties funny- Smarties aren't shiny. Yeah. Are they very dull? Yeah, they're like matte. No, Smarties look like this. M&Ms are shinier. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my God, what is happening? Well, that just fell out of your mouth, that. <laughs> no, it didn't. That is a Smartie, but it's more sophisticated. Mm. Dark chocolate, I find, is a little bit... It's a little bit more bitter, isn't it, obviously? Yeah, I like dark chocolate. But it's got a bit more of a sophistication to it. It's not some childish shit, pr some, ch some eight-year-old prick riding a scooter and box of M&Ms being a prick. Sophistication. That was very weirdly specific. Kids, don't have them. Riding a scooter with a box of M&Ms being a prick. I believe I said box of Smarties, get it right for Jesus. You said M&Ms, <laughs> roll the tape. <laughs> we'll roll the tape now. <laughs> box of M&Ms being a prick. Milk is chocolate, Petra made Swedish chef. Give me a second. Shut up. One of them's fruit and nut. I love fruit and nut. You're not having that one. You've not been. You've not been well behaved. Don't look at me. That's too big. What's that? One of them's fruit and nut. Staple of Norwegian chocolate. Okay, so this is just like Norwegian chocolate now. Freya. Oh, okay, I've never heard of her. Inga says that the fruit and nut one has. Oh a, look, it shows you how to open it. Are we going to talk about this again? <laughs> Do you understand? This is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. I do look good though. <laughs> the fruit and nut has a reputation for being a pensioner's chocolate. But deliver us. I guess that's the same here. If you go to your nan's house, she'd have like a whole nut. I never understood whole nut. Fruit and nut's just nicer than whole nut. What are you doing? What are you? Ooh. It tastes a bit like Easter egg chocolate. That smells fucking great. I'm just gonna try the fruit and nut because I will get both experiences with just that one. <laughs> great replacement for an energy bar. Well, I'm not sure that's entirely correct. That doesn't, well, the fruit and nut one. Energy unless bars it's most, generally have like protein in them. Unless it's mostly fruit and nut. So you're a liar. I feel like an energy bar is a great replacement for a fruit and nut chocolate bar. Yeah, it's the other way round. Other way round. But then Norway is on the other side of the world, so they do things differently. Cold. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm gonna say something now. That might be a bit. I don't know. If I don't know. Genom Coco Life, our Breda Freya for him, Barak Faktig, Ut Viklin for De Bunden, some Durka Vakakao. I even gave you a warning just then. I gave you a, a warning. I feel like the finished chocolate we got was exceptional. I'd have to have them side by side, but I think that might even be better. Like, that is one of the best, like, that's one of the best fucking. Very creamy. Pieces of chocolate without being like super. That's so good, Ingvar. You've made up now for the fact that for the first 10 minutes of this video, you sent us garbage. You're so rude. This is a wafer covered with milk chocolate, Norwegian version of a Kit Kat. It's also by Freya. Who's that? Oh, okay, I've never heard of her. The brand, there's a cartoon on the back of a nice gentleman saying, Ed God lights melted. He looks really hot. I don't know, Scandinavians really do it for me. Oh my God, you know, he's from Norway, fucking. Kino. Subwoofer. Kino, and I've got such a crush on Fred. Fred is so fine. I'm sorry, but Fred, if you're watching this, Fred. <laughs> I will leave Nova for you. 
What is this packaging? This is so strange. I don't know. I thought she would have had a reaction to that. Apparently not. This is a, a staple for when going is. skiing or hiking going as a snack. Skiing or hiking? It's a this snack. It's like a four, four finger situation. Like a Just break out. one off and we'll do it in half. <laughs> the wrapping has the mountain weather rules on the inside of them. Oh! <gasps> That's so lovely. Imagine what? having mountains. Imagine being in a country where it's like, what are we doing at the moment? We're gonna go to the mountains. <laughs> I'd love that about to be in Norway. Is that what this says? Is that no. what Google said? It says on the inside. No, on the inside of that. And there's nothing on the inside. Well, have you opened it fully? That's a Kit Kat. Yeah, look, there's stuff on the inside. Can you see? Oh no. Oh yeah! Vetre Glenne. Oh. Petra Mede. Where's she from? Exactly. I come from a country that's hard to find. Exactly the same as Kit Kat. Oh my god. They are watching and they'll know. They know what this is. Oh my god. Mmm. Kit Kat. No, it's better than a Kit Kat. Do you know what that is? That's Cafe. It's not Nescafe. How dare you use Nescafe against me? That's not Nescafe. That's Nescafe. What is a meat suit? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. What is the meat suit? Oh no. What's the meat suit? What's the meat suit? I'm gonna need a minute. I'm gonna need a minute. What? Smell? A chocolate? No, calm down. Filled with soft caramel. So it's mm. soft and gooey center. And the slogan used to be made to be shared, but apparently they've dropped that. It would smill. It's a Rolo. It's a Rolo. It's a lint roller. Oh, it's a lint roller. Mm. It's a lint roller. <laughs> it's even similar packaging. Control load over! Put your, put your hands down now. What? <laughs> You've redeemed yourself today from just being a solid toad. They are Rollos. I can... Just, I never liked Roller. No, the top of a Roller's got a little nipple on it. Yeah, but they're the same. Can we share that? <laughs> you wouldn't give me your last Rollo? I don't know. I'd, I've never liked... I thought Rollos were a bit shit. Munchies I preferred because they had a bit of biscuit I in They don't taste like Rollos. I don't know if I can remember what a Rollo tastes like. Been years about a Rollo. Will you listen to yourself, you stupid fat old tart? I feel like our Rollos, the chocolate is thicker. And that caramel tastes like fruitier. Oh, oh no, that's too much. I think these are, in essence, a Rolo. You do. But they're better. I think these are nicer. Maybe I never cared for a Rolo, but I that's a bit much for me. <laughs> but my grandfather used to love Rolos. Who cares? God. Lynette Scarbo is working overtime in this video. Cannot. Sugar confectionery with licorice. Salty licorice and peppermint. You guys with the no, salty licorice. Salty oh, what is this? I personally do not like them. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. I don't like it. Oh, thanks a lot, you cunt. Well, thanks a lot, you cunt. I didn't like it. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, you cunt. Sugar um, confectionery with licorice, salty licorice, and peppermint flavour. So in Norway, apparently there is a debate about which colour is the best and if you should eat them mixed or separately by colour and in which order. Jesus Christ. What happened to just shoving something in your gob and going home? I don't like licorice. I'm not going to like these. I don't mind licorice, but... Oh, wait. They're tiny. They're little tiny. They're like little tablets. I'm going to try yeah. the white one. They look like something you would have received in a club in the 90s. Such lovely colours. I'm going to take this weird looking one. Nothing happening. Did you I chew the black Did you one? chew it? Yeah. The black ones are probably Samyaki, aren't they? Nothing's happening. Oh, it's got that. Oh, no. Uh, 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 uh. I can taste it straight away. Uh, that's disgusting. The brown one is uh, the faintest. Uh, I was going to bring in the bitter and I forgot. I'll take it. Samiaki. That's really horny what we just did. 
disgusting. First of all, the brown ones are so faint. Ugh. It's like, I really used to love aniseed balls and it was a bit oh like that. God, no, it all just tastes like Sambuca to me. Now this is very, it's very mild. So I don't mind this. Cause I've sucked it all off already. Go get me a dildo. It's peculiar because it's like, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a savory like meal replacement. Or is it something like Willy Wonka-esque? Or is it like a sweet treat that you would have on the bus? What is it? What's happening in my gob hole? I might put them out in a dish at a party, a soap dish. I think they're dirty. Oh, they're so no. rude, they're so rude. I don't like them. Okay, safari, biscuits and cookies. I reckon these will, we know exactly what these will be like. Cookies. Let's wrap up these cookies. Olivia. <laughs> these are cookies. So these look like they would be like, we have Mary cookies. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mary, I used to love Maryland. I used to sneak into the larder as a child. I'd take like five out and a huge oh, glass of milk and I'd go and hide in my bedroom because my mother wouldn't let me have them. Do you know what was really good? Did you ever have a lunchbox at school? Do you carry a lunchbox? <laughs> Do you carry a lunchbox? But did you ever carry a lunchbox? Yeah, I, yeah, I was a child. Do you remember they used to do lunchbox bags of Maryland cookies and they were smaller and the cookies were mini Dookie. and they were so good. They were better. That's legitimately a Maryland cookie. You can't tell me otherwise. Yeah, that's a Maryland. That's in this cafe. But the mini ones were better. I liked choc gems and I used to bite the chocolate off and spit the chocolate in the bag and then have a pile of spitty chocolate at the end and I'd go off on it. I'd show that shit a good time. That is one You're of the most to disgusting understand, things you've ever said. Starting to understand my childhood a bit more. I was an eater and a biter. I was dieter. <laughs> <laughs> I was just that sort then. I hate it here. And I'm quite that sort now. There's no lipstick left on your mouth. It's all in that fucking straw. Oh my God. Take a picture quick. Take a what? picture right now. Take a picture. <laughs> I'm going to put that in so they can see what I just saw flash up on that. <laughs> Send that to me. Send it to me now. Send it so I, we don't forget. Ready, everyone? <laughs> Boom. Oh, yes! Wow, that never goes off during our sessions. No one ever texts me. Because all your friends are here. Well, there's only, only four in the room. You and the three others. Shocker ringer, biscuit rings. I sounded a bit like Nigella then. I should do a Nigella. <laughs> biscuit rings dipped in chocolate. <laughs> what will that taste like? A BN. It's like dark chocolate. Trim BNs. Yeah. BNs are so good. You used to enjoy breaking them in half and sticking your tongue in the eye hole. And the commercial went BN, BN. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it was BN, annoying. BN. That was really irritating. I they copied Manamana. <laughs> You're making it worse. Don't do a baby voice, what's that? Oh, it's very thin. Very thin. Oh, wow. This oh. is not unlike a BN in taste. It tastes like the crust of a mince pie. Do you get mince pie crust from that? Mm. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's like a mince pie crust. How peculiar. Doesn't very taste like a biscuit at all. Delicious though. It tastes like pastry. It's so astounding to me that out of how many of these videos we've done and how many different variations we get of a biscuit with chocolate on, <clears throat> and they still now taste like they're all fucking different. How it what tastes is that? like pastry. It tastes like pastry. Oh, I'd show that a good time. Uh, Dronings chocolade. This is Ingvar's all time favorite dark chocolate. <clears throat> it's meant to be used in, really in baked goods. It but Ingvar here. has it as a snack. Freya Dronings chocolade are perfect till baking. I'm sorry, zero points. <laughs> zero points. So this is not really supposed to be had as a snack. I suppose, I don't know. Dark chocolate strikes me as like an older person's thing. I guess that makes sense though, because your taste, I'm not gonna eat my tea. Oh yeah. It's very nice, but I prefer my dark chocolate darker. It's, uh, would they call that bittersweet chocolate? Ina cooks with that. Cut in half, stick it right up the ass. Probably. I prefer like at least 50% cocoa, and this is 40. I don't eat much chocolate, so I'm not really that bothered. <laughs> Okay, the, the last, last thing one. is the weirdest looking one. Corn, salt, salt and sprot. 
This is corn snacks covered with chocolate. This one is, oh, now listen to this. They're bugles covered in chocolate. They're bugle shaped. Listen to this. That's, we have nothing remotely like. What the fuck is that? Maze snacks covered with milk chocolate. Ingvar says this one is dangerously tasty. Salty corn snacks with chocolate. They're salty. Sweet, salt, and crispy at the same time. They're literally like bugles covered in chocolate. Who's who's eating these? Who's doing this? We are. They look a bit now. like poos. Like I would find this in Bart's litter box. I don't want that in our house. You know what this is like? She's gone for a second one. You've gone for a second one. She's gone for a second one. Imagine. You've gone for a third one. Imagine chocolate covered popcorn. This is the best thing I've ever eaten. Smash. I might cry. It's the best thing I've ever eaten. Smash. <laughs> the only way I can like begin to describe it is imagine the flavor combination of salted popcorn and chocolate. Smash. And that's so interesting. We have nothing like that. Smash. <laughs> Stop saying that. Smash! You get yourself down to your local Norwegian deli. Do we have Norwegian shops here? There must be. There's a lot of Polish it's shops. Polish. Romanian shops. Korean, Chinese. Koreans, a few South African. Mm. Um, no, not really Norwegian. Not we'll I find one. Of. We'll find one mm. for Smash. See over here, Smash is a brand of instant mashed potato. They're so ugly. They're like little witches. Pets. They look like... <laughs> It, they do look like a bag full of dried cat turds. Quick, take the thumbnail. Did you try that? Yeah. Really good. I can't deal with that. that I can't be eat more the of these. Perfect film snack. You could, uh, you could l maybe eat. How many did you just have? I lost count. At least five. Well, you're a big fat bitch. <laughs> I don't know how many of those I could realistically eat because that is so filling. But wow, that's. Didn't know I'm already a quitter. Well, I would certainly say one of the top. One of the top 30. One of the reasons you'd move to Norway. Yeah. Fat and Fred. A subwoofer. Fred. Someone give that wolf a banana. Yeah. Can yum, someone quit this? Yum, someone quit this yum, and tweet yum. Fred and just say that I'm available for Fred. Cause I'll, I think Fred is so handsome. <laughs> Would you like to go out for dinner on Thursday because I am free on Thursday? So if you are free on Thursday, hit me up and we can go out on Thursday when I am free. What's that? It's like a copy pasta meme thing. I don't. What? They can fuck off those can. I don't get that. <laughs> what do you mean you don't get it? It's just I funny. Stop that. Stop this. And just copy and paste it with like someone that you fancy. Well, Fred. I'll do it to Fred. I'll ask for. I can't do Thursday. <laughs> I don't know if it is Thursday. I can't remember the day, but I just use that as an example. Smash. I'd like to thank Ingvar Solberg for being so kind and generous to send us this box of goodies. Um, it was really good. The only thing that is a little bit questionable, obviously, is the salty licorice, but you went in saying you didn't like those. Everything else, 10 out of 10. So thank you so much for doing that. If you'd like to send us a box, or in fact, anything at all, our PO box address is in the description below, along with a link to... Hmm. What you gonna do with all that ash? What was that? I'm trying out like a new thing. Don't like know. a new version. Like the it's train like the skinny version. Yes. You wanna be on You got it in one! The Patron is over there if you'd like extra fucking content, that's excellent work. Some of those guys get <clears throat> burn those Nova. Also we're on Twitch. First of all, can you just... Some of those guys get birthday shout outs, including... Noah? Mm hmm. Yep. What? Say it. Including what? Are you fucking kidding me? Including... But not 
Unlimited 2. Oh. It's been 84 years of me doing that. Listen to what you say. It's been seven months and you just will not. You bitch. Happy birthday to Joseph Clark for April 7th. <laughs> Happy birthday, Joseph. Uh, Mark Hall for April 9th. Happy birthday, Mark. Brian Wheeler for April 10th. Happy birthday, Brian. And Maxime for April 11th. Happy birthday, Maxime. Happy birthday to all of you. Thank you so much for being with us. We are on Twitch. And we've already done it now, so. I, well, you're fucking telling me. And our social media will be on the screen now. So we're gonna go and probably have some Norwegian fun. Which in, my, in your fun? mind includes this, the, the doing that, the box of, the bag of smash. And mine is smash Fred. <laughs> you know Fred. Yeah. I love you Fred. And a bell common to our brand new patrons, Kieran Mullen, Jordan Trubshaw, Kelly Marie, Patty Has Cake, Elodie, Sam J. Woolston, Alan Sells, Matthew McCreen, or David Pizakowicz, Mike Owens, Tyler Tabram, and Dakota. Um, don't eat the red ones, because they've got E120, which is, is that the, the bug one? There's bug ones. Hmm. Bug, what's bug one? What's that? Bug one. <laughs> Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.